Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you in how to buy S&P 500 index fund on Webull. So, we're just going to click right here on recurring investment and just go through the steps of what it would look like. So, now in this particular scenario, we're going to follow the Warren Bullock advice and invest in a low fee s p 500 index fund and that is possible through an exchange traded fund like voo the vanguard and s p 500 etf so going back we're just going to click right here on the voo so the recurring investment voo investors are able to invest automatically at a set frequency by following the, these three steps so for the number one step you have to select a target stock or etf number now etf rather for the number two is set a fixed or dynamics investment amount and then for number three is you're going to schedule a fixed investment frequency and then after that um, recurring investment orders are placed automatically according to what you have selected and at any point in time you can cancel recurring investments if you want to so if you want to just follow a set it and forget it approach it if if it is possible and here a Weibo recurring investment we're going to click on the blue next button now and at this point you're just going to choose the investment amount that you want to put in put in and the minimum recurring investment here is five dollars so if for example, you wanted to do $5 per day automatically invested into a stock or ETF, you can do that very easily. So here we're going to click in the $5 for the dollar value and then just click on OK. And you now have the option to choose your payment method. So by default, it's going to set to Webull buying power and that means that once our deposit settles in our account, it would draw from that amount of money. So for this recurring investment, um, that is what I would recommend doing because you don't want to have all of these different transactions going right from your bank account. although. You can select your bank account here. If you do this, it's going to automatically take that $5 out at the set frequency. Just cut down, just to cut down on numbers of transactions, I would personally recommend if you're using a recurring investment to do it outside of your Webull buying power. And then Manually deposit that amount of money one time per month or maybe twice a month to satisfy your investment schedule. So at this point, you have the option to choose whether you're going a f you're doing a fixed amount or dynamic amount. So at the dynamic amount, it's going to be based on, um, you know, just a set criteria in terms of whether it drops below the moving average and different things like that. So if you wanted to buy shares more aggressively when they dropped below the historical average price, you could just use this dynamic investment option. But for those people, a fixed amount is going to be what they are looking for. And then from here, you're going to choose whether or not you want to do this every week or every two weeks. You could also do it once a month or you could do it every trading day so if you wanted to take like a five dollar buy it out of the s p 500 every trading day you could deposit about 150 dollars per month into the weevil 
and then set this for every trading day. And then each day it's going to buy 5 bucks worth of S&P 500. But if you do this every week, for example, you're going to be buying like 52 times per year and that helps you avoid overpaying at times and sometimes you're going to be a better deal and you're going to underpay compared to the average price from the asset over time. So you, you just want to make sure before you set up a recurring investment that what you're investing into is investment worthy and that is you're not just funneling money into a losing stock for example because a dollar cost average averaging only works and only makes sense if your dollar cost averaging into something that is um, worth investment so that's it i hope you find this video helpful thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye